A lot of people get hurt working in the timber? Not any more than anything else, eh? A fella gets killed once in a while. But you will anything you're working at, just about It's it. way more dangerous to drive down the highway than it is to work out here. Yeah, I think it is. Every day, day after day, I sure believe it is. Oh, yeah. Well, there's never been none of us hurt bad. No. Oh, I got a leg, I think, broke, didn't he? Yeah. That wasn't that bad, did he? You're in gray, both got on and broke his ass, didn't he? <laughs> yeah. Sure did. I'm going to be full. I don't want to work this thing. Well, I can't let them out now without punch, you know what? They can't use one, thank you. <laughs> I see needs honey. Well, he'll have to. He went up there the other night and couldn't tree them. And Bell, they caught two last night. Treed another. Keep her good dog. I said, just want to take the young dogs to see how old Bell and that young one is. Now, that old Jip hidden, he gets a little behind. They run up the tree, and then they hear her coming to trail, and they go back to her. I don't want to be out here myself. You was getting there on the date, I'll do for like two weeks, told him, didn't you? Mm -hmm. He told me he still had five loads down there to get. Are you going to skid one again next Saturday? Because i got to go mow cane next Saturday. We're going down home. Huh? Is that next weekend? Week from this coming. Steve, yeah, won't it? Yeah. Okay. I'm starting to go. Well, if you can get them in shape in a week and a half. I ain't got them more. Oh, my feet are on them. They still got them. Fire going up there with you? Mm-hmm. I don't know. They ain't going to have it there at the same place. No. They ain't. They ain't going to have it down Tibbets. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> last year, all. I'm going to stay at Steve. Are you? Mm-hmm. Yeah, he wanted us to come up there with you and play some pitch. Steve did. Harold ain't going. I'm going to. Who? Harold. I don't know. I'm going to have a bunch of judge just for the top ten dogs that finishes. In the top ten. I'm going to have a bunch of for the top ten HGA dogs. Crazy, isn't it? What's this you're going to? Fox hunt. Wolf, uh, fox, and wolf. They have a fox and wolf hunt up there. Well, we can stop one of these days and show you the trophies we got. You don't know about yeah, 300. Mm -hmm. Then they had a whole bunch and they burned up. I got a whole, I got about, I don't know, 60 now. What kind of dogs you raise? Uh, fox and coyote hound. We got mostly coyotes and July dogs. Whenever you come in, did you see them tied down on the chain? Mm -hmm. Them fine. I run them last night, see, and then this morning I just tied them up on that chain, see, and I put them in the pen and feed them. We Dumb. talked to Seaman Rayfield. He said that you and he'd go on a fox hunt for us someday. Yeah. That's Seaman. He's a best one. Fine fella, ain't he? Yes, he is. Yeah, we have one up here at the, well, it's about 10, 11 miles over here, between here and Salem, or Jadlin. We'll have one every spring, third weekend in May. We're talking about tall tails, you can hear them around places like that, don't you? Mm-hmm. I never went to get one. I never went to that coon hunt. Coon hunt all my life. Never did good. Like I heard you say something about a man didn't want to work in the woods because he make a hundred dollars a night coon hunting. Is that real? That's right. That this boy is. Uh, he lives right down, down here. here. Yeah, we didn't pass his house. Yeah. Uh -huh. Yep. Sure right. He lives right down here. And if you go out here and hit this old dunt right and go down there in the first house on the left. <laughs> they bring from about twenty-five to from twenty to thirty-five dollars a piece. Don't they? Mm -hmm. How many did he catch the other night? 
17. That's money. <laughs> He has to have an awful good dog. I think he's got some of my old stock dogs. <laughs> you better go back and get them, hadn't you? That's right. <laughs> I can't hold the camera stand. <laughs> now, is that what you call a tall one? <laughs> yeah, it is. Yeah. Now, that about the coons, that's right, I guess. Yeah, that's right. That bow ain't windy. Kenny, though, you get plenty of wood. They want to go hunting. hunting. They want to go and they want to kill something, and, or they want to get some hide or, you know, something. But what, what do you do? What's the thrill of going out there and just hearing the dogs run? Well, most of it is just a sport. See, you know your dog. You know what he barks like when he's running. You can tell him apart. It, uh, you can tell what dog's what if you hunt there. And uh, to me... My thrill of it, I never I go with a guy I want to outrun him. I want my dog to do the best. Yes, sir. Now, you don't but, kill ain't with Carl Tony, do you? Uh, I like the daylight hunt. You can watch your dogs, you know, watch your coyote and watch your dogs. Boy, I'll shoot the tar out of one if I get a chance. I ain't shot a coyote and I don't know when. Are there any fox in this area at all? A lot of them. Fox That's about all we got it right in here. Why do you hunt coyotes when you can hunt fox? Well... A fox ain't no sport town to me. If a dog catches him and just kills him out there, and a coyote, he's about as big as a dog. You can have a fight. And that's what I hunt for, is a fight. There's lots of dogs want to take a hold of a coyote. Mm -hmm. I'm doing the more that want they are to swim. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Well, I guess I'll throw that pole and saw on the skid and go out there and. I jerked that black oak down. I got a pine. I got two pine out there. They wasn't no big timber on this job here, was it? <laughs> Just small stuff. I, I guess that's the reason they cut all of it. Scrappy getting. <laughs> sure. Yeah, I wish they could come forward with some big timber. Well, we'll come out again with you sometime <laughs> when we get up. Okay. Yeah, that old ground on the other side's pretty big. If I was taking with two or three trees and make a pretty good skid for the these down these roughs, I couldn't get it at the mule. That's the only place you find any good timber. It's just rough. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I have a cat to build a road in, and they Ampson over We helped them, man, Edward did. Well, that's been ten years ago, ain't it? Mm -hmm. Fun, uh, He'd have roads built up these hollows. And we'll skid downhill. You skid downhill with them. You put a good sized log. And we got it all that way, didn't we? Mm -hmm. Yeah, but you know what? Both of us skidding that one day just barely skidded a little over a load. Yeah, I know it's that one day. Uh, but we hauled as high as seven loads, too, mm -hmm. someday. I figured that deer sees me back to go back, didn't you, Jenny? Yeah. Kind of shoot me down. Well, they hurt me as bad as did you, boy. I got a little blood out of everyone that shot at, and I said, well, can't say that about the young. Well, now, man, can he ain't got no proof of that ever. That's I have. Never seen one. Man, can he might have shot one or two if somebody he, else killed him, we could say, well, he was wounded. Can he's been like his Aunt Lurie. He'd give anything for just a drop or two of blood. <laughs> he shot that one. Mm -hmm. No, he's flipped one. Better to miss him just like right, flipped one. But they're both of them deer died. Now, this thing shoot his horns off where he'd be running faster. He wouldn't get in a shot where I could. What kind of shot would you have to add? Not Never very one. good. Maybe you missed that before he died, like the red schedule, wouldn't you? Mm -hmm. <laughs> I didn't really want to do it. You know, you baby old told him up there. Never. You checked that deer a year before, two years ago? <laughs> he said that like to take the end of death. He's the windiest candy, ain't he?